My shop actually made money. My shop actually made money. This is not a false alarm this time. I actually made money. Look at this. <gasps> oh, look at this. Arrows, bows, 10 whole diamonds. Can you believe it? Hello everyone and welcome back to Hermitcraft. As you may already know, one of my goals for this season is to have a big mega base. And that mega base is going to require quite a lot of blocks. Last episode, I picked out quite a nice area for my industrial district. However, there are a few things that I'm going to need in order to prepare for it. Unfortunately, one of those things involves the nether. I highly dislike it in here. Okay, let's try not to die, shall we? Oh boy. The farm that I'm wanting to create today is a prismarine farm. And there are a few steps that I'm going to need to take to make that process a little easier. The first step involves one of these guys. Hello. Ouch, thank you. Now that I think of it, should have brought some arrows. Okay, that's fine, we persevere. I'm very brave, I'm so brave, I'm so brave. Whew. Okay, six, six, eight blaze rods. That'll do, that'll do. That's all, that's all I need. Oh dear. Good. This is fine, I'm fine. Ah! I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. There was a little dude that stole your stuff. Right, and that guy. Oh, that guy also stole your stuff. Here, you need this back. That's right so now. rude of them. Oh my gosh. Take that too, please. <laughs> Anything else? You weren't oh, there to you shout. A bed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see what happens when I'm not there to yell that someone's behind you. <laughs> oh, did you come into the nether without gold on? <laughs> yeah, I just needed a blaze rod impulse. Right, no oh problem. gosh, it's Watch a out for that! Watch ah! out for that, Jim! <laughs> <laughs> I leave you for two seconds! I can't be left. <laughs> I'm taking Jeez. the stairs. Oh, I don't like it here. Okay, I got this, I got this. Go, go. <laughs> that was only slightly embarrassing. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm okay. But, good news, I got the blaze rods, and that's the important bit. I'll just make a couple of these. We are going to need water breathing potions and also invisibility potions to make working on the guardian farm a lot easier. So for that, I'm gonna need to do some fishing and some carrot farming. Should be easy enough since I built this little dock here. Just a couple of fishermen fishing. Now that I've got some puffer fish, I've decided I will be doing most of my potion brewing. Oh down here. I can get my water bottles, I can fish, it's multitasking, it's good. Okay, the potion process is a go. And after a few relaxing moments of potion brewing, the potion operation so far is going absolutely fantastic, if I do say so myself. I'll admit a proper tech YouTuber would have probably automated this, but I enjoy the chill dockside potion brewing. So now that I've got the potions and the guardian temple, I suppose it's a question of what we do next. If I'm going to be building a prismarine farm today, I'm going to need a very good plan. Luckily for us, I have a plan. Whether or not this plan was actually good or not would come into question later, but let's not worry about that for now. Let's just get over to the farm, shall we? Okay, there it is everyone, the ocean monument that I claimed. So I've brought a bunch of cobblestone because I want to market a perimeter around this that's gonna be the farm that I'll drain. Uh, the issue is, uh, they're very annoying. So, hold on, we do a disappearing act. They'll never see this one coming. Yeah, 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 it should be easy. They won't suspect a thing. The center of a guardian temple, conveniently, is right here. This is literally the center. That's all. It's this. Ooh. Oh, that, ge that genuinely scared me. Oh. Okay, they, they don't see me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So, this means if we want to build out in a circle, it's going to be- oh, you can't see- <laughs> can't see me. It's gonna be an even numbered circle basically. So we're just gonna go out to the perimeter, I think, on both sides. So if my calculations are correct, I think we're gonna want to go out about 42 blocks. So this should be our diameter <laughs> in theory because it's an even number. So this is actually our center, right? And we're gonna need to do that on every side and then kind of figure out where the circle goes from there. You don't see me. You do not see me. I'm invisible. Yep, very skilled. Okay, with uh, 50 seconds of invisibility left, this is the circle so far. 
it's not a circle at all. It's more of a cross. And that's okay because it's gonna be a circle. Now we just have to connect that side to that side to that side and so on. And we should get a pretty easy circle. New potion of invisibility first. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's go. Oh, with 14 cobblestone to spare, I did it. And I still have two minutes of invisibility. So this is our circle. This is it. My plan for this industrial area is to bring a big wall of glass down to the ocean floor and then drain all of the water from the inside, making a super efficient guardian farm. Uh, now, for this, we're obviously going to need a huge volume of sand, and I can actually calculate that volume using this circle. For starters, I know that I'm going to need about 5,480 glass blocks to get this done. So that's a lot of sand. While I'm at it, I figure I'll set up a little base of operations just outside the perimeter here where we can lay some sand and things that we might need. And also a bed, in, in case we die. Because, you know, that that's possible. Row, row, row your boat. All the way to a desert. There we go. It's time to gather sand, everyone. Super cool sand collecting montage. Go. Have I mentioned that you need an absurd amount of sand to drain an ocean? It's, it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot. And so, like any sane human would do, I asked Doc. Uh. Hi, Doc. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? You want to make a deal? Y yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, come wait. into the tree. So yes. listen, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of prismarine blocks this season too, Ooh. for my big base and building projects there. Mm -hmm. So you know, and everything, and also sea lanterns and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So I can offer you a deal. I say, normally, you know, the sand would be, I calculated it, uh, everybody, the viewer said, sell it for four, uh, four stacks per diamond or something. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So five mm -hmm. double chests would be 67.5 diamonds. Right. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a weird number. Discount would be a stack. I'd say you can have the sand for free if I get free access to the farm later on and uh, can make myself prismarines blocks and stuff. Doc is great. I took the deal. Look at all of his sand. It's insane. All the sand you need. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay. Yeah, don't wow. worry. If you need a little bit more or whatever, just take, right? It's, it's all good. Thank you, Doc. You are the bestest. No I will get to work awesome. dragging this back and forth. <laughs> good luck with the farm. If you need any help or tips, let me know. I can thank ask the you, hive thank mind. Thank you. But right. I think it should be straightforward. <laughs> yeah, it's just draining it. It's fine. Yep. All right. Thank Have you. Fun. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Whenever I get a chance, I've been taking deliveries of potions and sand out to the monument. So that's what I'm going to do now. Here we are delivering more goods. I think in order to use any of this, the next thing we need to do is take on the monument. Uh, I need a friend for this. Let's go get a friend. Woo. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Stress! Stress! You, <laughs> you might be just Stress! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. hey. Listen, I need your help, Stress. I've come to the bravest hermit I know because I need help taking out a guardian okay. temple. <laughs> I just knew you'd be on I board. I, I'm I'm like the perfect person you could ever want. Yeah, to help. yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You I'm down? Hungry. Okay. Well, yeah. I've prepared some potions for us. Okay. There you go. And you have oh, everything dear. you need, like a sword. Uh, you know. Um, Just and I spent a little bit of time catching up and getting everything that we would need to take on this fight, and soon we were ready and heading towards the temple. There it is. All lit up and everything until we die to everything that's in there. We're not gonna die, there shall be no death. Let's start a setting. Are you ready uh, for battle? I'm ready for battle. I'm just gonna take then. the water breathing and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go past all the guys, okay? You ignore them, and then all right. There, so there's an elder guardian in each wing and one up top. It's right, gonna be okay. like a maze. Ready, drink. Okay. 
Come on. We're off. We're off. Come on, stress. <laughs> we got this <laughs> Okay, Such okay. Past all the guys. Past all the guys. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. They're targeting you right now. They don't see us. Okay, I see the first. I see the. Do you see oh, the tail? Oh, bums in there. I guess. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh. Let's get him. Oh. Come on, stress. Oh, he's targeting me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> got it. We did it. Perfect. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting attacked by level one. Ooh. Okay, this is easy. This is easy. We got this. We got this. And we did, in fact, have it. We took on this ocean monument like a bunch of absolute professionals. I'm proud of us. It's time to look at the loot. We did it. We did it. We got sponge. We got an elder guardian sponge. head. We got no. We didn't just get one. Oh yeah, yeah. We got, got three. We got three. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, it this is. is epic. Now stress. <laughs> I yes. was gonna make a farm out of this. Do you do you want yeah? Do you want in on on the farm making? There's there's gonna be a farm happening. Gem, that would be perfect actually, because this season I'm going self sufficient stress. Self sufficient stress. I like it. it's got a good yes. ring to it. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, uh, good, good. So the first thing we gotta do is you see that ring. We gotta make uh -huh. the ring glass all the way to the ocean floor. <laughs> I think you've heard about my new selling in my shop, haven't you? I'm um, <laughs> I'm selling glass, so I actually have quite a good stock of it. For you know, I was thinking, for decoration yeah. purposes. Uh, okay. Pink glass. <gasps> pink mm -hmm. glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pink yeah, it's glass. Yeah, got, it's got to be done. Stress. We've got our flower. Yes. We've got our supplies. Beautiful. We've got our beautiful automatic furnace. We're great tech YouTubers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We know things. <laughs> so there's a crafting table over here, and basically we get to turn all of the lovely glass into pink glass. And it's beautiful. Are you okay, ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Three, two, one, drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's save the glass bottles. We probably need to make more. Oh. This is perfect. Look at us. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, true. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> The glass circle would be just the beginning of the struggle of getting everything done with this farm. It was a huge task to place this much glass, but luckily with Stress's villagers providing the glass and my bone meal providing the dye, we got it done in no time. Well, eh, not exactly no time. It, it did take a few hours, but I'm summarizing it here for you so that you don't have to sit through it. Oh my goodness. We're meeting up. We're doing it. We're doing it, Stress. <laughs> oh! It's the last one! No! We did it! <laughs> right we as our invis is out, too. We have seven oh, seconds yeah, to spare. We're doing so cool. it. Here we are! Ow! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a ring. It's a ring. And now that the glass is placed, it's time for the longest part of this entire project. But first, we must clean up the ring. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh no, the, the dolphin stuck, Jim! <laughs> you rescued no, it, Stress. Oh, I, I, I rescued it with my mind. Okay, good job. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> and after that little event, it's time to get the sand placing. I'm gonna have to break this to let this dolphin out. There we go. Oh, what are you <laughs> it just hit me. I think that was a guardian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's needless to say that this first session of placing the sand was a lot of experimenting. We were sort of just having fun, messing around and figuring out how to do this in a way that didn't involve a ton of suffering because let's be honest, placing sand for 20 hours straight, not that fun, but we figured it out in the end and eventually came to a new problem. You know what would make this whole situation a lot better? If we had more than three wet sponge. Don't get me wrong, I love what we're doing here. I, I think it's going great. The pink glass looks great. The little sand sections are all coming together. It, but we can't actually drain it without sponge. Well, I suppose we could, but it would be easier with sponge. Which means I must go on a grand adventure. And I'm okay with that. Now, there's only one thing that can improve this adventure. I need a friend. Specifically, a friend with milk. And this time, a hermit will not suffice. I, I actually, I have to find a cow. Aha! I see cows. Hello, cow! Hello, yes, I require your assistance. Thank you. Wonderful. We're going on an adventure. Thank you for joining me. This will be fantastic. 
And we're off on the journey for Sponge. Now you may be wondering why we are choosing to drain the Guardian Temple as opposed to just doing a design with bubble columns where you don't actually have to drain it. Well, it's a simple answer really. I think it would look cool. And so we drain it. But first, Sponge. <gasps> I think I see it. There it is. The wonderful Guardian Temple is upon us. Okay, let's hope that there is Sponge somewhere in there. Unfortunately, this search for sponge seemed to be more difficult than I anticipated. The temple we were building in the farm at didn't have a sponge room, and this one didn't either. And because the world border is on this ocean that we're in, I only had one more chance to find a sponge room, or else I would have to travel thousands of blocks. Okay, don't worry, cow. You manned the boat. It's time I take on the guardians again. Oh, hello. N nice temple you got here. Oh, <gasps> sponge! No way. I have mining fatigue at the moment, but we can come back for this once we defeat all the guys. And speaking of the guardians, where- oh, there you are. Hello. I'm fine. This is fine. There's the last one. The final boss before we can get our sponge. Come here, you. Take my impaling trident. No, 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 no. Got him. Oh, I've defeated all the guardians. This calls for some sponge collecting as a treat. I got a full stack and six sponge. That's insane. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Okay, now I just gotta get out of here. We're safe, we're getting out of here. Oh, that was extremely successful, if I do say so myself. Now at the moment I've got wet sponge, which, well, uh, that's not gonna work, is it? We, we don't, we want the sponge to not be moist. Let me show you something extremely satisfying. Uh, okay, impulse, cool. Stay here, cow. You ready? You ready? Watch. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. <laughs> and now that my sponge isn't moist anymore, it's time to meet back up with stress. I got 64 plus 6. <gasps> no way. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> I have so many sponges. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> And after updating stress on the sponge situation, we zipped off towards the portal to head back to the guardian farm. Once there, we basically decided to focus in on one quarter. This would make it a lot more manageable in the long run if we did it just one quarter at a time. Eventually, we fell into a sort of rhythm and we were having a lot of fun in the group chat, chatting about random things as we placed sand. Honestly, at this point, we felt very hopeful that we may actually be able to finish this in a reasonable amount of time. And so it was time to break out the sponge. Oh man, I can't believe we get to drain it. I know, where are we starting? I guess we do start, start up here. Side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do that one, I'll do this one. Mm. I've never done this before. No, no, my, I'm like, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, now where do I place it? Mm, bam, uh, whoa, it does so much. <gasps> and then we hop on it and we pick it up. Got it, okay. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh I didn't. Idea. I probably wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I missed a bit. I missed a bit too. Oh boy. It's harder than it looks, all right? Go easy on us. Um, Gem? Mm-hmm? I don't have any ladders. <laughs> you <laughs> stuck, Stress? Can I dig through this way? I can! I'm free! Good job. And so day one of draining an ocean monument was nearly complete. And I'm really proud of the amount of progress we made here. I mean, we did pretty awesome working on this one quarter, but it was time to call in some reinforcements. Two hermits upon the waves. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> bickering in peaks of rage. There is a cow that they say will moo as Gemini rose. Ah yes, hermits helping hermits. On the Hermit Crab server, we try to help each other out as much as possible with these big grindy projects. So I asked for some reinforcements from the hermits to come help me out and place some sand so that this project could feel a little less overwhelming and lonely with just me and stress. And boy, did they come through. I even got to learn some brand new things from some of the hermits. It was so incredibly helpful and I'm so grateful to them. This is the proper way to fill sand. Oh. The fast way. Oh, I thought my way was really good and fast. And it was very, it was very cool. It was, it was great, great. It was very, um, Let's go, you're 2012. flexing on us right now. 2012? Okay, so it's okay. piston, block, mm -hmm. that, dust, yep. that, mm -hmm. that, uh -huh. torch, yes. this. Oh, 
Oh my god, she's a redstone genius! I did it, I did it, I did it, I got no redstone! Try it, try it, try it, try it. I do it, hold on. Oh, oh my on. goodness! Yes. Isn't this just amazing? We made so much progress this night, and I gained so many new tips from my fellow hermits, stuff that I would have never known before. I'm so grateful to the hermits for working with me on this project. They made it feel so much more manageable, and we are in the home stretch, I think. The main struggle at the moment is just getting the sand placed into sections, which isn't really too much of a struggle. It's not hard, it just takes a lot of time. And so the more hands that you have on deck, the faster it gets completed. We are over halfway done. Would you look at this? That's insane. It's so satisfying to see it unveil in this way. Stress is over there, invisible, working on sand placement. I'm over here working on the cross sections. I would say this is going well. Today might be the day that we're done draining. That's so exciting. Oh, you can't see me. Uh, uh, awkward. It's fine. I continue. And I did continue. I woke up extra early the morning after Hermit's Helping Hermit so that we could guarantee we would finish this sand placing today. And after just a couple of hours, we did. Did you see I got it done in the end? Yeah, I know, it's great. <gasps> oh, stress. <Ooh. laughs> we're done. The sand is now done. The sand is done. Can you actually believe it? Look, I finished it. It's perfect. It's gonna be so easy to drain. Look at this stress. Look at this. Oh my Look at this. Two God. sponge. Two, Two sponge. That's uh, so ah. good. It is so good. And just like that, we were on the final stretch of draining this ocean monument, which was a huge deal. We were going back and forth with sponge, drying it out and using it up all over and over again. And eventually I got into kind of a rhythm with it. I have to say having Riptide on a trident has made this considerably easier. <laughs> it's just so nice. I can just drain one column like this. And then I just pop over to the next section. It's easy. Oh, hello. Not to be dramatic or anything, but I am on my last four carrots. <laughs> I uh, haven't been to land in a while. So I'm currently debating eating the guardians themselves as they drop cod, which is nice. Hello, come, come here. Come, I need to eat you. I need to eat you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be done draining soon. Right? Right? Surely. Surely I'll be done soon. I was not done draining soon. It would be several hours before I was done yet, but luckily, stress came to my rescue. Here to join me for the last few moments of draining. Stress was getting rid of the sand. I was draining the water. We were making a fantastic team. And honestly, we made quick work of this in the last few hours. Stress, the place is cleared. Hi. It is? It's ready to go. But you know what we have to do yeah. now? Yeah. Well. We have to clean up our mess. <laughs> We've got a little oh. mini chest monster up here. And it's we have ridiculous. And, and we have one, one over there. there. Yeah. Yep. We've made a mess. So I think what we do, we clear it up, we put it down mm -hmm. there on the floor, and uh, we make yes. this area actually workable for when we want to build the farm. I think this area cleaned up beautifully, if I do say so myself. We set ourselves up for success for when we are ready to build the farm, flattening out the entire area and setting up a proper chest area and portal area to make access a lot easier. Stress, are we done? Did we I do think it? We're done. <laughs> I think we did it. <laughs> I think we did it. It's really beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. It. It's absolutely oh, huge as well. I can't believe massive. we've done this much. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. We've drained a hole in the ocean, Stress. We have. I cannot believe Stress and I took on this giant project on week two of the Hermitcraft server. Of course, we still have yet to build the Prismarine farm, but we decided that draining it was enough of a project for now. And plus, look how fantastic it looks with the pink glass. I can't wait to decorate this thing and get it all up and running. It's absolutely amazing. And now next episode, we'll be able to easily start work on the farm without having to worry about draining things and moving things over here because we've already pretty much set up. 
I think though, for now, this is where we will leave it. Thank you so much for joining Stress and I on our journey of draining our first ever ocean monument. This is not something I've ever done before. And to be honest, I don't wanna ever do it again for a long time. That was very difficult, but I'm so proud of us. Thanks for watching and supporting this series, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.